when you look at this expression, inverse cosine of negative 1, here's what you want to think. It's asking you to find the angle whose cosine is negative 1. And remember that for the inverse cosine function, we're limited to a range of outputs between 0 and pi. So if you think about your unit circle, over here, when you've gone pi radians, you reach the point negative 1, 0, so the cosine is negative 1. So the answer to that is pi. Similarly, for the inverse sine of 1 half, when you see that phrase, you want to think to yourself, you're being asked to find the angle. Every time you're doing an inverse trig function, you're finding the angle whose sine is 1 half. I'm going to think of it as 1 half rather than 0.5. And remember, when dealing with inverse sine, your outputs have to fall in the range between negative pi over 2 to pi over 2. So for positive 1 half, we think of this in quadrant 1. The sine is 1 half, so the opposite would be 1 and the hypotenuse would be 2. And hopefully you recognize that as a 30-60-90 triangle with a 30 degree reference angle. So the answer is 30 degrees, although we should give our answer in radians. So instead of thinking of it as 30 degrees, you think of it as pi over 6.